I think the public should be concerned that Zika is a threat to our country, to our region. Once Zika comes in and infects a population and ends up active transmission, it will result in a change in lifestyle and there's a risk to all our pregnant women and a risk to our whole country. Uh, the whole population can just stop growing simply for fear of pregnancy. For that reason, I think we ought to be concerned. But if you look at the other converse, the real risk is only applies to, real risk only applies to a small group of people and these are the pregnant individuals. I'm concerned because I want to get rid of it. But I'm not going to be concerned because it's not going to harm majority of our lives. We ought to be concerned to break the chain of transmission, but we ought not to be concerned until we stop working. Life goes on with or without Zika, but with your cooperation and mine, we can break the chains of Zika transmission. I would advise patients to avoid going to Zika infected areas. Those countries with active transmission, which at this point in time is the South America as well as Central America. If I have to go there, I will make sure I'll bring along mosquito repellents that will protect me from bites of the Aedes mosquito. Back in Singapore, we do not have any active transmission at this point in time. I will not worry about getting infected with Zika. But should Singapore become actively infected with active transmission of Zika, then I would encourage those who are pregnant, uh, those who are trying to be pregnant, to have DEET or form of mosquito repellents applied over them. So one example of a mosquito repellent is DEET 15%, which I'll spray onto the hands as well as the clothing. For those who are challenged up in the head like myself, remember to spray over the head, the ears, because these are radiating heat areas and the mosquito will go for them. If you are wearing flip-flops and Bermudas, remember to cover your legs and your feet. Now, some people do get allergy to the uh, mosquito repellent. My suggestion is to spray it onto the back of your forearm, make sure there's no reaction before you go ahead and spray all over your body. If you are wearing costume jewellery, sometimes the deed may actually affect it. So be very careful with where you spray your mosquito repellent. All the doctors in Singapore, especially Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital, have been briefed repeatedly on the signs and symptoms of Zika virus infection. We actively screen all travellers returning or anyone if we have travelled to active areas of transmission. And when they do come in, we will screen actively for Zika. Singapore is prepared. Mount Elizabeth Novena is very prepared for Zika. I expect to see a lot more imported cases of Zika coming into Singapore. Remember that the mosquito is the key and the mosquito will bite a traveller and the traveller will cross borders, immigration control in various classes of air travel now and land into Singapore. The person will come into Singapore well and fall sick thereafter, which means fever screening controls at airports do not work. Instead, active surveillance of individuals returning from countries, awareness of it and early reporting, these are things that will help Singapore prevent active transmission. Active transmission will occur when a person falls sick with Zika, gets bitten by a mosquito, do not know about it and, and this spreads on to other cases. I hope this will stop and the way to stop it is actually to break the mosquito transmission chain. In addition, people who have returned to, from countries uh, with active, dengue, active, sorry, active Zika infection should come forward and see the doctor should they be unwell. In addition, travellers who have returned from countries with active Zika infections should watch out for illnesses like fever, headache, muscle ache, rashes, red eyes, and see the doctor if and any of these, not all, if any of these symptoms develop and screen for Zika. Together, you and me, cooperating together, can break the chains of Zika.